We need tools, as always. What kind of a mission do you have for you? Green skins, two skulls. That's a bit much for us right now. One skull, what is this? Go fetch the thing from the place for 500 gold. Not worth it. Your tools are outrageously priced, sir. I'm going to make my way up north to Skullwold, I think it was. Because I saw that they have a hunter's cabin. And I'm hoping we can hire a hunter there. I will also take a, a witch hunter. Yeah, this map isn't great. Mm, ooh. If I had more money, I would give that guy a try. What is this? Uh, green skins. Nope. Two skull. Fetch the thing. For how much? For 780. Yep, I'll do that. If it's these obtain the thing from the place missions, I'll generally take them because most of the time you don't even have to fight whatever's inside there. Most of the time. Where are we going? Southwest. Let's just pop in. Okay, I was going to say pop into Skullwald and see if we can't hire an archer, but it's getting dark. Let's go do this mission and then we'll get, get paid. Should be a pretty quick and easy mission. The provisions is going to be a close thing. It might be a close call. Also, I need to be prepared for the fact that I might have to fight some auxiliaries. Or originaries. In which case, I need both of my flails and I need spears. This axe arguably wouldn't be any good because getting through their shields takes too damn long. So, if we're up against auxiliaries, then you would switch to your spear. How are we for armor? I think everybody's armor is fully repaired. Okay, good. Let's get in there. We don't step into the ruins so much as Clambler, hobbling to the bottom. I just want to see where it says yada 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 yada. Walks over, the finger bone in hand, you nod and tell it's time to go. Good. Many legionaries. Okay, so we'll see how many it is and if they have pikes. If they have pikes, we'll run. If, okay, I'm not going to fight this. Again, it's the kind of fight we can win, but I'm not interested in any of these weapons or armor. And these weapons would one-shot any of the armors on the front line. Once we start getting reinforced male hauberks and battle forged on all of the front line, then we can start standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with these things. But hell, even then, one of these pikes can still two-shot a reinforced male hauberk with battle forged. Nightbot should be working. Uh, try... Exclamation mark uptime. I added it on Tuesday. Let's see if, my, if I added the command correctly. I doubt I did. And then Twitch channel. Lol. <laughs> okay, so I got to I got to fix that. Also, Benjen Schwichten. Hang on. I need, um, I'll need to. Uh, you can't post links because you're not modded. Oh yeah, my, my first move on any campaign is to get scale mail on everybody. But I say first move, it's something that takes normally like half a year. It takes such a long time to get that, that amount of scale mail. You're getting the money together for that. Oh god, it's so tough. But very much like XCOM, the difficulty curve is inverse. So in a lot of ways, in most fights, not all of them, but most fights and in most situations, it gets easier in the late game. Well, my friend Hans Gruber is a complete maniac. I don't know how he does it. He gets, like, by day 30, he'll have, like, four sets of scale mail. I don't know how the fuck he does it. It's crazy. And he'll take on, you know, like, a dozen vampires at day 20 and kill them all. I, I, I've never seen him do it, but I, I, I don't doubt him when he says he does it. 
and he plays a lot of Battle Brothers, and he's far better at the game than I am. Easy money, thousand gold in the bank. Bravely running away. This this is what the Golden Company is known for. Smart tactical engagements. We don't put ourselves in harm's way unless we're getting paid to do it, and we absolutely have to. I'm glad the mission worked. There was a short time when a mission like this uh, it wouldn't tick over for you to go back to where you were given the quest you would have to go and fight the monsters despite the description before saying that you've got the thing that you came for in hand there is a different description where it says that before you found what you're there for you get attacked in which case you have to fight not coward tactical very targeted combat careful thoughtful Despite that, I still get you guys killed with worrying regularity. The prices here are still so terrible. I would have thought that doing that mission would have removed this disappearing villager's debuff. You know, we've got a little bit of money. Let's see if we can't get our hands on a, on a ranged weapon. Oh, yes, please. How much? Around for the whole company. Beautiful. Everyone's in high spirits, and we needed that. So I've gone and set myself back with this, this ambition by having my archer lose an eye, which was bad enough, but then I fired him, not realizing that I needed him to help with this ambition. Long story short, I'm stupid. I'm going to try this militiaman. He's reasonably cheap, and I do like militiamen as early game frontline lads and this hound's master. Uh, I'm actually going to see the one cultist we have. Is he marked for replacement or not? Yes, he is. Okay. So in that case, then I'm going to keep hiring cultists. So Baldrick is a... He's technically not marked for replacement, because, but he's our backup sergeant. The point is that if I can get this guy to have a good enough star distribution that I can justify hanging on to him, I will very happily do so. How many swords do we need here? We only need seven in total, eight in total. We've got one on the front line, so I need seven in my inventory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that can go. Spears, same story. One, two, three, so I need five. One, two, three, four, five. These are junk, these are junk. That's all junk, that is junk. But I'm actually thinking that I might have to spend 300 gold on these tools. Well, we are fully repaired. Let's just try get some some work and see if we can't find a place where we can get some tools for a reasonable price. But first of all, let's meet the new recruits. So we've got Cunibert, who is unfortunately no good. Well, actually, with 41 starting ranged, you know what? What the hell? We'll make him a crossbowman. He is borderline too crap to use, but I will make him a crossbowman, but I'll mark him for replacement. So in just in the short term, obviously I want to get people to help me achieve my ambition. Ivar has got a star in melee skill, so we can make him a, no, a, a non-replaceable sword raider. See, guys who I'm replacing will stay on the right. Non-replaceable stay on the left. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, the fragile sucks, though. The three stars is amazing, but the lack of mini defense is a bit of an issue. I think I'm going to make him a hammer raider. Uh, and then he'll be pretty damn good. Okay, so we've got... I need two axe raiders. And so far, I have two. I need two hammer raiders. I don't think I have any hammer raiders yet. Oh, there's one. And here's our second Hammer Raider, Ferdinand. 
Okay, this is awesome. We're actually starting to get there now in terms of uh, getting people that I'm not going to replace. So, Alstein, you are going to be replaced eventually. And Biani, you are going to be replaced eventually. We are getting there, boys. I just want to get the lads who I want to keep into the action now so they can start getting some XP. You know what, Ferdinand, you may as well start your life on the back line. You are so important. And then we can actually justify having Cunibert start with a with a bow. I mean, we'll, we'll switch that to a crossbow at some point, but... And here's that Houndsmaster we hired. Yeah, 76 is a bit low for me. Um, it's not going to be good enough for as a long-term solution, but in the but but just until as, as a stopgap brother, just as someone that I can that I can hang on to until we can find someone better. I think he'll he'll be he'll do okay. Now I only want two guys in reserves, so these lads are all marked for replacement. So two of them need to go. We'll hang on to Baldrick. He's there to replace one of the two sergeants as they go down. So of these remaining three, who do we keep? We've got Halstein, 62 accuracy at level three, and he is strong and strong brute. Mr. Poopy Pants, 57. He's definitely out. We're not going to keep him. He's freaking terrible. Hit the road, Poopy Pants. And then you got Bjarni. Actually, I'll tell you what, this, this, this is our team as it is now. So we've got one sergeant to replace, and then I've got two frontline guys to replace injured brothers as and when needed. Yes, I feel good about this. Good, 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 good. Excellent. We've got a few too many new guys, though. I'll worry about that. Ah, oh, well, what can you do? So the level 1 lads need to be using spears or an axe. Okay, we've got to be careful. We've got some very raw recruits up front there. Ferdinand, I need you to... Ah, oh, good, we've got extra daggers here. Excellent. Man, I have high hopes for Ferdinand. In fact, he's going to be a viewer. If they're not being replaced, they'll get a viewer's name. Um, I think I added heart, so Raptor Blade is next. Raptor Blade, welcome. Uh, just remind me, did I name someone heart? I did not. Jenna, is that one of the... One of the viewers' names. Okay, I need to I need to make him one of the viewers. Actually, no, it is a viewer's name. Yeah, sorry, one of the guys on Twitch was uh, told me to give that name. Hart. Yep, Hart is off the list. Next, Mauvais Garçon. Ivar, the Sword Raider. Here we go. Did I spell that wrong? Malve. Welcome. A brave, fresh knight. French knight, that is. Oh, yeah. We've got a full seven men up front who none of them are marked for replacement. Awesome. And raid ends, not marked for replacement. Not marked for replacement. Obviously, Cunibert and Olaf. Are all or both marked for it. So we, we effectively have no archers, or at least not any archers that I'm going to be happy to have in, in the late game. 
Not yet, anyway. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. Good. Onwards. Let's just sell some of this junk we're carrying here. That's all junk. I'm actually going to hang on to these throwing weapons. I might find a use for them if I have to use my archers against uh, undead or, or something like that. Quick bandage check. Are we all carrying bandages? Fantastic. Okay, lads. Let's find work. Let's find some archers. We've got a lot of work to do. Sorry, well, Burns. I can't. Uh, I can't keep an, an eye on chat that much. So, what, what was the previous comment? A uh, few episodes later. Thank you for your service. Yep. <laughs> well, that, well that, that, that's. I know it sounds harsh, but that, that's exactly how the replaceability works in this game. If if I put an R next to a character's name, they're really just there until I can find someone better. And in previous playthroughs, I haven't done that. I haven't actually replaced people who who it's clear would not have been that great. And I've always regretted it afterwards. By hybrid, you mean what? Uh, uh, hybrid, ranged, and melee fighter. I really don't like those types of fighters. I like I don't like jack of all trades fighters because you can find they're nice for versatility. But the thing is, if I have a guy, I'd rather have someone who's amazing at one thing than average at two things. If he's an amazing archer, he must only be shooting his bow. If he's an amazing melee fighter, he must only be using his melee weapon. Min maxing. You got a min max. Okay. A poacher, not as good as an, a hunter, but we'll give him a try. Come on, please have stars in the correct. Uh, we'll never be confident. Well, he'll, he'll do in the short term as a archer replace. Unfortunately, I have to keep hiring archers. In fact, just to start Sigmund, you can actually start with that pike, just until you get a few levels under you. But if that's the case, then you may as well just break shields. On the plus side, even with no stars, I always seem to find that ranged... Uh, ranged skill seems to level up so much quicker than anything else. Okay, hang on a second. So eventually I'm going to want to have Axe Raiders on the flanks. Where's the other Axe Raider? Hammer. Sword. Axe. Okay, then we're going to want Hammer Raiders on the flanks. Hammer. Hammer. So then these three in front here should be Sword Raiders. Sword, Sword, and Sword. So then I've even got an extra Sword Raider. Okay, that means I can f fire this guy. Uh, Halstein. Okay, this is good. We've got backups. So there are there are options if we need them. Look at this rubbish. Absolute junk. Okay, so at least I know I've got the setup that I want to have. Hammer, hammer, axe, axe, sword, sword, sword. Sergeant, sergeant, archer, archer, archer. That's eventually what, what the formation is going to look like. Hmm. We're not there yet, though. I've kind of, I've kind of messed my formation up here a little bit. 
Let's go like that. I want the axe next to the mace so he can shield break. Spears on the low level lads. And axes. Okay, cool. I think I've spent a bit heavily. I need to get some money in now. Down to 600 and... Yeah. Well, there's a two skull. Yeah, hopefully that's a patrol mission. If it's green skins, we can potentially do it. But my concern is if it is green skins, there could be orc warriors there. We're not yet in a position to fight them. So, excellent. Patrol, seven days, 80 crowns per head, 25. Pay me more. Okay, now he's offered me less. Great. 80 times 25. Someone do the maths. Uh, 2050? I've only got three days worth of salary and I have to buy some tools. Can I offload any of this junk? No. In any case, I'm confident I'm not going to need that much time. Let's head straight down here, see if we can't find a zombie patrol. And in fact, I'm going to go here. In fact, once we had last time, there was a bunch of zombies and one necromancer. I'm pretty confident we can take him down now. As long as there aren't any ghosts in there, it's doable. One necromancer, many armored, and one fallen hero. Hmm. That, that's a bit much considering the low levels of the frontline lads. And I don't have any decent archers. With three decent archers, that would have been a different story. We'll come back to that once we're a bit stronger. No footprints around it, unfortunately. Oh, whoa, what do we have here? Lots of orc young. That's actually doable. Uh, when the sun comes up, that's doable. Uh, I'm not going to want this axe to... to break shields. Just stab them. They've got those little feral shields, which are annoying, but we can certainly get by them. Let's take a look at the accuracy here. 60%. Elver, and you go to that. 57, 52. This is 50, it's technically 60 odd. Okay, but I think, but we're all gonna start with spears though. Just because it's orc young, we wanna keep those orc off of us for as long as we can. The other option is I can see who on the front line has the best ranged skill. We've got a couple of 40s there. Um, if they had quick hands, I could justify giving them the, giving them the throwing weapons and then start with that. But no. So, um, oh my god damn it, they just ran at us now at night. That's not expected. 20 of them, oh god, okay, we've got to run away now. So this is a group that spawned, and it's the orc young that were actually in th that little hut as well. <sighs> and this is way more than we can fight now. What we can do is we can run away, uh, have the group that came out of the city break away and fight them, and then come back in and fight the group in the city separately. There's a chance I could do this if I didn't have these new fresh recruits. This is this is far too risky. I want to be fighting thugs and zombies to get these level one lads up to like level five. I don't like being this conservative, and there's an orc warrior there as well. No, fuck this, run away. But I finally got my hands on a bunch of guys that I'm happy to keep and that I don't want to replace. So I'm going to be very precious with them. I really want them to survive. These are my viewers, after all. They're not just nameless red shirts.
Well, on, on your point of the hybrids, what I do like is with my raiders, eventually they all get quick hands. And quick hands is a pretty, uh, it's a slightly controversial skill. A lot, of people, a lot of people don't like it, which I don't understand. I think it's a bloody great skill. And so like in this situation, I could have my, some of my frontline guys equipped throwing weapons. I've got seven people up front. So that means four can have spears out while three can have throwing weapons. So, or even crossbows, and that's three extra ranged weapons shooting at the approaching orcs while the other four hold them at bay. Plus, when you add that to the ranged weapons of your three archers at the back, it also lets me, when I'm fighting large numbers of Nachtiers, to have a spear wall to start with, but then I can quick hands to swords afterwards without any loss of action points. But the main reason I, I take quick hands on my, on my raiders is that, so for example, on my hammer raider, he will start with his shield out and a dagger, and then his hammer in his backpack. Because typically you're fighting against uh, raiders who have marksmen with crossbows, and the biggest threat to your raider is that you don't put ranged skill or you know, ranged defense into them. So you give them a kite shield. So they hold on to the kite shield until they're actually able to charge the enemy and come into melee contact, at which point they can quick hands out their weapon and, and get to work. When I first started using raiders, which are the, you know, the two-handed weapon users, I wasn't taking quick hands and I wasn't having them starting with a shield out. And whenever I fought against enemies that had uh, archers, especially arbalesters, those horrible crossbowmen, every one of them would just target your raiders because they, they don't have shields out and they've got you know, very little ranged resistance. And they would be out of the fight or killed before they could even get an attack off. So, I mean, I've been surprised seeing how many people take bags and belts in a lot of their uh, builds. I mean, I get that it gives you the tactical adva uh, tactical advantage of, you know, being versatile. You know, you can have a different weapon for a different situation, but like, it's a whole perk just to have a few extra access to a few extra weapons. I mean, I always wonder if I take bags and belts, what am I not taking so that I can have bags and belts? Am I not taking Berserk? Am I not taking Battle Hunger? What am I not taking, you know? Uh, bags and belts are usually a plus 15 fatigue so hang on d does it also mean the everything in your backpack doesn't have any fatigue cost i thought it was only the the extra two bag slots because if, it, if that's how it works actually then that would completely change my mind on bags and belts then oh wow okay hmm God, that actually means then bags and belts would give me more fatigue than than, than brawny would. Oh, that's actually amazing. That that changes everything. I, I got to think about bags and belts on my on my raiders then. So this is nine orc young that hit us here. And it's a very good point. It's like gifted in fatigue and more. Uh, it, it's the tactical options that, that, that are so important. Tactical flexibility. Oh crap, is that, that's two groups of orcs. Nine young and eleven young. I need them to split up before I can fight them. This is fucking terrifying. Yeah, they're sticking together, unfortunately. And I'm just running them straight into. Oh god, let's try to lose them in the forest. I certainly wouldn't want to fight them in the forest, but it looks like they might be splitting up now. Some raiders and poachers. I'll, I'll fight those when it gets dark. Okay, let's take these orcs on. Let's see, now all of a sudden it's got warriors in it. I, I don't want to fight orc warriors. That's fucking terrifying. Run away bravely. I'm going to fight here because I remember that being just thugs. Oh, what did we blunder into now? Oh, my word. Holy crap. 
crap. 20. Oh, but it's mostly thugs. Okay, so what do we have here? We got some marksmen. I'm actually going to fight this because obviously these crossbowmen and archers are terrifying, but these thugs are going to have their morale broken so quickly. And they're running at us, which is surprising. It's really only that marksman that's terrifying. The rest of them are not that concerning. See, this is when I wish I had the two-handed weapons. Like, if I could just step in here with a, with a greatsword and just swing in a big circle, it would be amazing. I think it's dusk. It doesn't count as nighttime, which actually is really bad for us. Stabbing. Although the problem now is the lads don't actually have the weapons out that I would have wanted them to have because I'm, I'm kitted my boys out for fighting orcs. Damn, so Nathos essentially just loses his attack that turn. And you, Lofric. 95. Do not go to the mace. Good hit. This, this guy's the problem. Oh, thank God. Both my archers are going to target that guy. These daggers are no joke. There's four of them. If they land their, their pierce armor skill. Okay, it is nighttime. Awesome. That actually helps us. That helps us so much. I'm just going to have to hope that I can get lucky here. Kill that guy. Yes, right ends. Good stabbing, my man. Hot. What's your secondary weapon? None. Yes! Look at their morale break. Look at them flee, lads. Cowards. <laughs> am I in trouble, Seb? Am I? I probably am. If, if these crossbows start hitting us, then yes, we're in trouble. Spear wall OP, Zalia doing it. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, charge into my spear wall, you fools! Golden Company gives no fucks. I'm actually very, very glad we, we stumbled into this, this group of enemies. This is quote unquote easy heads for the uh, for the patrol. It's comparatively easy heads. Yes, I'll have good hit. Oh god, that sounds so painful. Can you imagine getting smashed with a mace and it breaking it, dislocating your shoulder? Oh. We're gonna finish off here. There it is. Oh, nice bit of luck there from Cunibert. Alvarin, you got quick hands. Go to your flail. Raptor Blade. These lads are fleeing. Run at him. Release the hounds. Get a wind. Good dog. Killing that crossbowman before he got any shots off was just absolutely huge. Okay, give him the old run at. Oh yes, it's chaos as they all break and flee. Yes. Foolish thugs. He's not running, he's brave, I'll give him that. Just hope this guy doesn't hit his shots. Damn, he's gonna wreck this armor. Oh, thank god that missed. The 
Like I'm just picking who do I attack, who do I kill. Oh, come on, Sigmund. Brutal. Brutal. Savage. Wrecked. Why can I shoot without endangering my friends? Dodging. Oh, I should have got someone into melee range there. There you go. Evening, Augustine. One last brave marksman. As he's seeing all his friends get slaughtered, I'm sure he's going to start fleeing now. Oh, there you go. Oh, you don't like that, do you? Run them down. Ah, bring me their heads. For Dove Cool. Sorry, wrong playthrough. <laughs> oh, strike him down with your noble sword. Oh yeah, the sound of their pain. Choking on their own blood. Ah, look at their bodies, like so many falling leaves. Well fought, men. We took hardly any damage there and we slaughtered all 20 of them. This is amazing. Four, five daggers. A tier two crossbow, which I need anyway. Some tools. Some crowns. We do have a big group of nasty orcs bearing down on us, though. Um, I'm hoping we can outrun them. So tier 3 for Nethos. He's a sword raider. It sucks he's only getting these plus ones. But he is determined. And besides, once I'm finished getting his resolve to 50, I don't have to level, up, level that up anymore. So I'm still quietly optimistic about his, his abilities. Uh, holdout is my... Level 3 skill of choice. For my sword raiders, actually they will get underdog at some point, but I tend to give them footwork first and then battle forge because I like footwork to allow them to take advantage of the two-handed swords, but on the basis that we don't have any yet, I'll take underdog first. I can always come back for, for footwork. Raptor blade. Level two, excellent. Plus four. Oh, that's so good. Although I am going to invest pretty heavily in his hit points. I need him to stay alive. What am I taking at level five on my raiders? Uh, do I just take his weapon specialization? I may as well. I don't want to have to come back for it, that's for sure. Right, I took, oh right, that, that, that's right, I went quick hands first. I tend to take the weapon specializations pretty late on. Plus four in melee defense. Oh, I see big things in your future, Juno. It's such a pity his melee, melee skills started off so low. Okay, can you bit the crossbowman? I'm just going to take your resolve to 50, and then I don't have to take it any further. Sigmund, you're an archer. Plus four, yeah, buddy. Forty-four, okay. I can actually, because your aim is so crap, we can give you the crossbow. And then Sigmund, your aim is actually not that terrible, so you can have a crossbow. So right ends, you can shield break and basically kick ass with that. I'm just thinking maybe for my two archers here, I should replace these throwing nets with pikes once I have them. Also, more good news, I can go ahead and hand out the daggers to everybody who's using kitchen knives to fight with. Uh, 
A nicely well-equipped squad, considering it's this early on in the game. Oh yeah, we've even got one spare. Go on then, Bjarni, you hang up for that. Let's take one last look at our team. So Leofric is our Axe Raider, Hart, our Sword Raider, Nathos, another Sword Raider, Elverin, a third Sword Raider, Raptor Blades, our Hammer Raider, Zalia, the other Hammer, and Jerno, the Axe Raider. Kelly! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Camelot. Tis a silly place. Raiden is the Sergeant. And then we've got three replaceable archers. I'm still looking for proper archers who actually have decent stars in ranged skill. And then we've got backups here with Marves Galthon, who is a non-replaceable sword raider, but he will you will see some action. I mean, the guys up front will be getting injured, and then whenever they are, it's your job to step up there. There's no shame in being in the B team. All that really means is when one of the A team guys get horribly murdered. It's your turn to step up. So some raiders and a few poachers. Uh, do I take them on during the day the daytime or the night time? Hmm. Uh, so what do you, I thank you for the uh, compliment. That's that's uh, very kind of you. It's glad to know you guys are, are enjoying it. I, ne I nearly gave up this streaming and YouTubing thing a little while ago. I'm glad I didn't. I think a lot of people who, who start streaming and making YouTube videos get upset when they don't have like a million followers within the first month. But you've got to remind yourself, even someone like PewDiePie started with, you know, no followers. I think all you can do is just do your best, try and make good content, and, uh, and hopefully the followers will come. I really don't want to fight in a forest. Heater shields? Um, hmm. I don't think I can justify the expenditure just yet. Um, I certainly will at some point. The issue I have with buying heater shields is that what tends to happen is none of my guys up front have shield specialization. And then as a result of that, the shields that I've spent like three, 400 gold on just get, get smashed straight through. If I don't buy the heater shields, I usually end up finding more than I'd need anyway. Uh, what seed is this? Um, I, I think I made a command for a try exclamation mark seed. I don't know if it's going to work. You sure can, Wild Balance. Crazy Finn. Add it to the list. The list currently is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 brothers long. Uh, Wild Balance, can you do me a favor? Can you go to my YouTube channel? The, the, the seed is in the YouTube video description. Could you have a look, see what it is, and then just add a command for it. I've, I've modded you, so you should be able to add a command. Yeah, if you could add a command, that'd be great. I'm just going to Bill Lumberg you. That's my style of management. Yeah, if you could go ahead and do that, that would be great. You piece of shit. Get shot in the chest. Yes, lung. I think I'm gonna try to dagger this guy. I would actually like to get my hands on that. Bit of armor. The map seed, yes please. If you can make an exclamation mark seed, and then uh, it should just show the map seed. <laughs> if you don't know how to add commands, then just... Uh, oh! There's a little tutorial. If you just Google how to add commands, then there's a, a Twitch. Oh crap, I forgot he had quick hands, whoopsie. Okay, so Zalia, you just keep him stunned with that stick, and then you three give him give him a good daggering. 
Raptor Blade. There's only six of them in total, which is good. So th that means there's going to be two archers and one... No, two archers and four raiders. Good shot, Sigmund, by the way. Here he is, as predicted. Good stunning, Zalia. Shoot wildly. Oh, unlucky. Oh, damn it. Nice. Get him. Do you know it's going to do nothing? Just wait for your friends to get around the back there. I mean, when, when someone spends that much fatigue on shield walling and reposting, I'll just shield wall and wait. Then they've essentially wasted 30 fatigue by putting up the, the repost. I could try it and uh, I briefly thought about using Lash. Ah! Nice headshot. Yes, excellent. Actually, I should move your dad's back because in two squares more of us can attack this nerd. Oh, good dodging. I'm glad to see the timed Nightbot link to the Discord is working. Although all of you guys, please feel free to come join my Discord. <laughs> hang out there, hang out in chat. I want to use it to start coordinating uh, playing Paragon. I want to play Paragon more often. But for that, I need guys to play with. Just playing it solo, would you believe, is a bloody nightmare. It's the worst. <laughs> nice, good hits. Also, um... I would appreciate it if you guys can help me get some sub emotes and maybe like a a, a sub image for subscribers. And I can do it all myself, but I, I want to open, open it up to you guys to see what, what your suggestions are. I think it would be great if you guys had a hand in helping create it. What I did think of so far to make a the sub badge, I was thinking of the, the Monty Python foot, and like the foot that comes down and crushes, crushes everyone. That could be pretty cool and kind of fits with uh, the channel, I think. Either that or the the sun, the picture of the sun. First levels, no, no. Uh, first level, I'm taking. Uh, what's the extra experience called again? The book smarts one. I'll take that one. If it's a brother I'm going to replace, I'll still take that, but then at level 2 I will take uh, Gifted and I will take Fast Adaption, just to give them the best chance of being able to hit anything. Knowing that I'm going to replace them anyway, and then by the time the late game rolls around, the fact that I have leveled them not the best way doesn't really make a difference. Oh, Student. I swear I'm developing Alzheimer's. Damn brain doesn't work. This was exactly the fight we needed. It was we needed five heads. This one gave us six, and it wasn't that difficult. Just gotta make sure this. Bloody Raider doesn't take someone down with him. Okay, he's wavering. Get him, Lafrick. Oh, God. Broken arm, smashed. Oh, God. The, the sound of that mace is so satisfying. Yes, yes, I go, I go student at level one. So 
technically it can make it a bit more challenging to keep your lads alive but I think I prefer it because if you're just careful about the fights you take you can offset some of that early game risk and getting the extra XP just accelerates your brothers up through the mid and late game and that actually does more to keep them alive than a defensive skill like Holdout or Colossus would because you're getting them more skilled quicker. Similarly to how like in XCOM you want to get the best weapons as soon as you can you don't want to fall below the power curve of your enemies. And I have on a previous campaign, I think it was actually the Dovkul's Chosen playthrough uh, when I didn't take student as the first level on a bunch of people and I really, really felt the difference uh, and I found myself regretting not taking student. These backup lads raring to go. Who has the fatigue here to wear? Hey, no, you don't have the fatigue. You can justify the extra fatigue there. Actually, hang on, I've got a archer with a friggin' nasal helmet. What am I thinking? Nice, getting a bunch of good spears in as well. Look at this, we've got reserves ready to go. I'm feeling good. Feeling confident. Look at all these wooden sticks. Everyone can actually carry a spare wooden stick now. I basically think of this little wooden stick as a stun gun. So when I want to capture someone, give it the old stop right there, criminal scum, and stop wa start wailing on them with a little tree branch. I've got lots of junk I need to sell here. It's crazy that I don't even feel the need to use this fighting axe. I feel like I should. Okay, so who's relatively low level here? I think Raptor Blade. I'm going to give you fighting axe. Yeah, and use you to break shields on the side of the formation. We've got almost entirely boar spears up on the front line. Which is good. It's a nice little damage increase over the regular militia spears. Good. Yeah, XCOM. We'll be playing XCOM tomorrow night. Okay, let's take a little break. When we come back, we've just got to lose these orcs. I might head west into this forest, over the hills, and then into Wildberg. Wildberg. That was a good little patrol. I'm happy. Doing good.